We're really proud at the Department of Education of what St. Paul Public Schools has been able to do with their elementary and secondary school emergency relief funds, really thinking about tying credit recovery opportunities for students able to learn core content in the classroom while also learning on the job, real life situations through experiential learning. For so many of our kids, they need the credit because they didn't get it during the traditional way that it's taught. So our program provides a different way for them to learn. It provides them hands-on experience and really that connection between the content and the experience so they know why they're learning something. Experiential credit recovery serves an incredibly broad range of students, a high number of special ed students, a high number of ELL students. And to ensure that we serve these students' needs, we create individualized programming to meet their needs. So we have seen much higher increased engagement. From last summer to this summer, we made some changes to scheduling and teacher collaboration. And this year, like engagement is kind of through the roof. What kids, and I was like this in high school as well, I did not like being in regular core classes because it had, to me, it had no real world connection. This is allowing students to get a real world connection of why they need to know certain formulas, how to calculate power, how to figure out how fast something's going so they can apply it to engineering principles. I like how it's more hands on and there's a lot more things I can do that compel me to do things like later in my life. As education program manager, one of the things I'm in charge of is our outdoor credit recovery program. So what the research shows and what our own personal evaluations of our programs are showing is that students are growing statistically significant in social emotional areas. And that is because our staff are engaging authentically with them, promoting peer bonds, using best practices that promote social emotional development. The pandemic really turned education into a solo struggle for me. As a student who has been in credit recovery and a person who is now on a credit recovery team, I think it's so important because the people who are working on the team with the kids, they're showing up every day because they love their job. The credit recovery program really opened up a new world for me. I've never really heard of outdoor education or considered anything past a traditional four-walled classroom. So it really changed my trajectory of a learning environment. I became interested in a world outdoors. And so I felt like I now had a tangible path for my career and for my education. The ESSER money was uh, the seed money that allowed us to get programming like this off the ground. And now student enrollment is the opportunity to keep things going from here on and sustain long-term. Well, in Minnesota, we're always looking for shining stars and programs that we know work for kids. And I think that was one of the real opportunities with ESSER. It gave our school communities across the state a chance to try new approaches, new programs, uh, and an opportunity to then evaluate and look at what works and, and look at what needs to be sustained and what we can scale and replicate, right, both within schools and across the, the state. And so uh, through this process, we've been able to work with the Minnesota legislature to really dig deep into uh, what we learned from the programming during ESSER and think about what we can scale and replicate across the state.